this is Heidi with Gompel TV. I'm here with Triggerfinger um, again. They were here um, five years ago. Do you guys remember anything about being here five years ago? Vaguely. Vaguely, vaguely, vaguely. Yeah, there was. I remember the bus when we came here. I remember we, we had an interview in the bus, I guess. But that's it. And the gig. I remember the gig. It was nice here. But the details kind of. They started to lead their own life. So, um, as you can see, I have all three of them here under my dress. So we're going to have a good start here with this interview. Um, but you guys don't remember anything else about the area here, the mountains or anything? Yeah, there are a lot of them. <laughs> high, really? high mountains. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, it's, it's a nice venue, of course, uh, and a nice backstage. That I do remember. So you remember the rocklet? The the rocklet? I, I, I didn't because I cannot eat that. So uh -huh. I love it, but I cannot eat it. That's uh, that's kind of depressing, <laughs> actually. It's really depressing. Um, so was uh, there anything you guys were actually looking forward to when you guys heard? Oh, back at Gumpel. Back at Gumpel. Um, sure. Because for us, it's been a long time. We have, I mean, we haven't been playing so much the last two years. So for us, it's all like, oh, we go back on the road playing again, festivals. And Gumpel is nice, beautiful, nice atmosphere. Looking forward to see some old friends who work at the festival. So, and we were happy to meet you again. And we have oh, a new good. album to play. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I was going to talk about that as well. Um, it's. Uh, I was reading a critique about it, and at the end, it said, "This music is magical, magical." Yeah, we changed from a live band to a, a puppetry <laughs> magician magical show. It's, we thought it's time for something else. So. Time for something. Yeah. Time Watch for something. Out what's coming on your skirt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's magic or not. <laughs> Rabbits, and <pigeons>. <laughs> Rabbits and pigeons. Woo! Yeah. Um, you guys also were able to do some stuff in America, where I come from. What's the big difference between being able to be in Europe and being able to play in America? It's, uh, we didn't. We just recorded in in the states. We didn't. We weren't on tour. But we, we go there because uh, the last two uh, producers we, we uh, worked with, they live there. So, you know, it was more easy to go there, you know. Um, it's not especially when they were living in Gempel, maybe we, we recorded in Gempel, you know. That would have been cool. Um, of course, of course your, your, the money, the dollar was so low. It was better to go over there to support mm -hmm. you guys. <laughs> to support that, the, Amer the poor Americans. Um, what was one thing when you guys were in America that you guys were just like, oh, this is just, this is too much, this is too crazy, this is too different, or that you found really strange? The elections. The elections. That oh, was really strange. Yeah, it was really pitiful and painful and all what you want. You know? yeah. And then like everyday life that you guys thought the Americans were a little bit? Well, it's, you know, it's a little bit different, but it's not that different. It's, it's nice to be close to the, to the beach, because we were in Santa Monica, so it's, it's extremely cool to just wake up, grab a coffee, walk to the beach and be able to work on your lyrics a little bit and then go off to the studio. You know, there's cool people and, and, and less cool people everywhere. So it, it, I guess it's got a lot to do with how you kind of put yourself into the situation probably and it's it's nice to be somewhere else than where you live because yeah you see how people do their things and go about their everyday life and it's it helps you um, stand in the world to maybe put it in a weird way but you know your place in the world because you live in your in your little hometown, and uh, yeah, therefore it's nice to go out and travel, and meet other people who speak English or Greek or Italian. Sometimes you don't speak the language, and you have to find some sort of a common language. And if you're in Japan, it's sometimes very hard to to find it. But it's 
it's it's cool actually to do that. I th- I guess. Yeah. No, I I would agree with that. Um, so on a final note, I just wanted to mention that uh, you guys had left a real lasting impression from the last time you guys were here because um, one of our other interviewers um, got a compliment from one of you about her shirt. So for the past five years, um, we've been contemplant- complimenting each other on our shirts. So. You've been on our minds every year for the past five years. So I'm hoping something <laughs> will happen that we'll have another five years to enjoy thinking on you. Nice rest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. This has been Heidi with Gompo TV.